Hi, welcome to Major Marketer. My name is Prashant and in this video we will learn about the different versions we have available to use when we deploy Google Analytics. Google Analytics is a tool, is a web analytic tool which is given by Google, right? So it's a free product. In fact, 85% you know, of the websites on the internet use Google Analytics and by far it is the most popular web analytic tool available in the market. And the second best is somewhere very, very far when it comes to uh, you know, trying to compare where Google Analytics stands with other analytic tools. Of course, analytics is not, Google Analytics is not the only tool. There are other tools, right? There is Adobe Analytics, there is Kissmetrics, a lot of other tools. Motomo Analytics is there. But trust me, I've worked with all of them. But the most easiest and the most comfortable one for somebody to have good experience in terms of reporting and trying to analyze the data, Google Analytics stands best. Right. So uh, when you deploy Google Analytics, right, you have to understand the different versions of analytics that are available in the market. Earlier when Google Analytics started back 10 years ago, there was something called classic Google Analytics. Then Google rolled out a new update and that update was called as Universal Analytics. And the third one that we have today is GA4. But Prashant, it is called GA4, but you told me only three things. The first one is the classic, second one is the analytics, uh, universal analytics, and third one is GA4. Then where is the third one, right? So for that, you need to understand that Google Analytics, what we talk about is nothing but JavaScript libraries. So when you talk about the first universal analytics, which is the classic analytics, it was using a library called GA.js. I will show that. I will show that how the code looks. So when people were using for last 10 years or 12 years, people who used to use analytics those days, they were using a code of analytics which would have read something like this. You might see this on the screen. The library that they were loading was GA.js. So eventually when people visit the website, your website makes a request to your server and your server then deploys the analytics tracking code. And that analytics tracking code tries to make a request to Google Analytics servers, which in fact is loading the GA.js library when you talk about classic Google Analytics. But then Google released one well update and, and that update was called Universal Analytics. And when Google released this update called Universal Analytics, they even changed the library, which was earlier GA.js to something called analytics.js so now the code was a little different than what we were using earlier with analytics dot uh, the classic analytics and then google changed the version to something called analytics.js earlier ga.js now we are using analytics.js which is the second version and there was a lot of significant difference because when we were working with classic analytics you had some set of reports but you could not customize those reports in fact a lot of people know about custom dimension custom metrics right these custom dimensions and custom metrics are not available or were not available in classic version of analytics. They were only released, which means the, the, the web analytic guy or the advertiser who want to send some customized data points was made available after the launch of analytics.js because they allowed us to send our data points, whether it be custom dimension or a custom metric. It was only available after analytics.js, which is universal analytics, right? And then Google rolled out another update and this update was not called as a new version of analytics. It was still called as universal analytics, but Google changed the library they were using. Remember, first one is GA.js, then Google released analytics.js, and the third one, which is uh, the library, right? The library was changed, and this library was called gtag.js. Everything was same. The reports that you were seeing, everything remained same. But only the tracking code that you deploy on the website, that tracking code was changed from analytics.js to gtag.js, which is the third version of analytics. And recently, in 2021, Google released another update, which was very formally called as GA4. It was called GA4 because that happens to be the fourth version. But one thing that you have to notice is Google did not change the library, the library that we use today is still gtag.js. Unlike uh, what we saw with classic analytics, which was ga.js, then universal analytics, which was analytics.js, then Google released an update with, for the library, which we called as gtag.js, and in GA4, Google is still using gtag.js, but the whole reporting interface, the kind of flexibility that you now have with reports are completely changed. For people 
who log into analytics or if you have worked on universal analytics for a very long time, still you will be apprehended. You will get overwhelmed looking at the reports because you don't find too many reports what you saw earlier. Now, majority of the reports you will see only after you send the data into analytics. So this is the GA4 and GA4 has brought a complete paradigm shift in the world of analytics because the entire data model has been changed. In universal analytics, they were using some other data model or a measurement model and in GA4 the complete data model the way Google data collects the data the, the way you wish you send the data to analytics is completely changed in the next video we will talk about what this data model means which is a measurement model we'll talk about the data model of GA3 and we'll also talk about the data model of GA4 and I will see you in the next video you want to know more about what we do at Measure Marketer? You can check our bootcamp program. We produce amazing, amazing content, right? If you if you really like us and you want to really motivate us to keep doing what we do, please share our video, subscribe to our channel, leave a comment, and I want to really go through your comments to understand what video you want me to make. Thank you so much, and I will see you in another video another day. Thank you so much.